ya! The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chains. Stay with me a bit longer, Lady Daphne. You, Jacob? Heal, Mohold. Down. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Lewis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See? Not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you, you could lift the curse. Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops busted, Witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Fair point. Not my business what you believe, either. Ha! Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in Octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover, colophon included. Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me bore me? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for knights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crowd pie. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise even if I wished to. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. I swear I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood, too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willows isolated. No other trees near it. Close. Mm hmm. Actually, does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? My help doesn't come free, you know. You speak to a lowly woodcutter. No stench of coin about me. Agreed. I will pay as soon as the young mate is free. Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome love for each other. 
Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher.
matches. Looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Hmm. Hmm. A wall of spell enhancements. Or trophies. Arrow. Broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch off a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest, or a bad one. Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? Looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Warm. Smells inconclusive. No idea what ingredients are in there. on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. Wormwood. Sulfur. Wart. Scents fresh. Bones ground into dust. Spell enhancements or trophies. Arrow broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch of a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest or a bad one. Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft. Yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. 
What do you seek? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Lynx Crag, would be hard pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. The Lady's Knight. He ever make it here? Sagaras. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> I could not abide it. What if I asked you nicely to lift the curse, please? Gareth met the fate he deserved. And what happened to his witch was not my fault. All right, so you didn't cast the curse. But could you help lift it? I probably could. But why ever would I? I'll humble myself, prostrate myself before you like the Gareth of the Tale did. I beseech you to help me. Lift the curse that imprisoned Daphne in the tree. When I saw you enter my hut, I thought, now there is a fellow who shall bend his neck for no one. Stand. None, not even I can restore to the less the yes she has lost, can erase the suffering she has endured. We cannot bring her back to life, but I shall tell you how you might let her depart in peace. Yet my aid shall have it. inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Warm. Smells inconclusive. No idea what ingredients are in there. stems. Interesting. Warm wood. Sulfur. Wart. Scents fresh. 